Hey, welcome back to the cafe. So today I want to talk about chiseled edge markers. And uh, all of these were made with alcohol ink markers, but you can make uh, any chiseled edge marker will work permanent. Whatever you've got handy will work great. I just absolutely love these lines to make uh, mark making pages for collage. And I've got a set of pens that are uh, pretty neutral. This brown is the darkest of the set, but it's got this peach color in there, and then of course some pink, and just a few different colors, and I'll show you those in a minute. But it's really neat, all the different widths of lines that you can get with the chiseled edge markers. And then of course you can mix your colors up, and you can do intuitive scripting. You can do, I, I love it these lines I just love how they go wide and narrow and they're not and they're really organic and there's no rhyme or reason to them and I love them without the lines going across but I also really like them with the lines going across too it just gives you another little idea and then here's some real messy circles just really kind of easy easy stuff now another great thing about the chiseled edge marker are of course are you only have to grab one pen to get different widths and I love that I just like sometimes I really want to have simple art and I want to just kind of do something that I can lay in bed and not really think too hard about and just have this organic quick little paper making session you know so this is a great way to accomplish that so here's all these pages look at how neat this one is I just love being able to um, make all these marks now I used some uh, the key for me is to use light colored paper so I find coffee stained paper to be the best and then I had some old scrapbook paper that I was uh, that I coffee stained uh, just because I had it handy so uh, look at all the different lines you can get from these pins it goes on and on and it's very simple and then of course you can take your little let me bring you in a bit this is really grungy up here with the coffee staining, but then you can even add more interest by taking your jelly pens, or you can take different colored markers. It, it, you know, your imagination can take you so far with this, and you can do all different kinds of little ideas here. Just do little circles and dots, maybe some lines through the circles, some cross hatching, just all different kinds of things that you can just sit. I, I just really do like to uh, lay in bed and do this. I like uneven lines like that. I love the spirals. And then of course you can come in and mark these others. And I like to go over the edge. So it's kind of my way of being a little bit rebellious. You can just, uh, you can stay totally within like that and then make them uneven and sloppy. Or you can go of course really clean. I'm not very good at even and straight and clean, but I'll do my best here. There, you can do like that, which they're all crooked. Isn't that funny? So uh, yeah, you can do just so many things. And then look at the difference, how plain everything is down here and how quickly you can spruce stuff up. And then the contrast you get with the pins is really cool and fun. So I wanted to show you a couple other examples. Now, this is a little video I did of um, watercolor and intuitive mark making and I used permanent marker doing the same thing with the chiseled edge pens on on this little sample here and on this little sample and then I just added some white marks with my jelly pen and uh, I, I just love to 
add the interest of the white on top of the black. I think it really makes a difference. And then these are fun little um, lightning bolts that I kind of wove behind the watercolor and just played around with some different ideas. And then here's a little tree landscapey stormy kind of little example sample piece and then this one I wanted to just do a little power line going through the image and I ended up putting these uh, fun little marks on the bottom just just playing around you know you can play around and come up with some of the neatest stuff and then this one I wanted a little tree and then I just did the lightning in front of all the marks so the difference is is pretty neat on the lightning so it just it serves for inspiration and ideas and different things that you can do now back to this chiseled edge i'm going to show you the pens i have real quick for this now these were made with permanent and i misplaced that pen so um, any chiseled edge will work so let's talk pens for a minute. These are all Artist Loft, which Artist Loft I get at Michael's, and uh, these are Artist Quality Alcohol-based ink markers here, and it's a very neutral set, and they're really cool because you get, here's the colors in that set. I really love neutral colors, and I, I really like the pink. I'm not a big pink person, but I do like the pink, and uh, adding the white adds a lot to it. And if I, I, I should have had one handy, but you can add black marks as well to these and just really um, do these up. So at the end of the video, I will stop it and grab a black pin and just do a quick few little black marks on top of the pink. But the great thing about this little set, and it just comes in this little six piece, and they have all different kinds of sets, the Artist Loft. You get your chiseled edge and you get a nice big one and then it's it's got even sharp um, edges. It might be really tough to see, but uh, there's so many little edges on this chiseled edge and I think that's really cool. And then you of course get the brush pen tip and you can get some really nice um, intuitive scripting and all different kinds of fine line making with the brush pen tip. So there's that set. And then these I picked up, I, I got really lucky and picked these up at Tuesday morning. And this is another quite neutral set, mostly grays in this set, a bit of yellow ochre, a bit of melon yellow, and then pastel peach and bronze and then the rest are all different shades of gray and uh, th these came from a store called Tuesday morning and they're local for me and I guess the brand of this is I'm guessing it's Firefly which is a really cool little logo here so you could probably find these online if you just looked up Firefly um, alcohol markers so so that's what I used for uh, all of these. And then of course, I've got some Spectrum Nior. <laughs> Why do I struggle with certain words? Spectrum Nior, okay? I'm just gonna call it that. I could be wrong, it's okay. It doesn't matter to me, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, these are, I had misplaced these. I'm really good at misplacing stuff. I'm sorry to admit it, but. It's it's true, I'm good at misplacing stuff, but I found these. So I'm gonna use a couple of these today just to show you how they look too. And you get this big chiseled edge, same thing, there's a lot of different cut marks in this chisel, so you can get some really fine edges. And then these have just kind of a little pen nib. It's not really a brush pen, but it's a nice little pen nib for really fine line marking so these of course are also alcohol uh, based pens here as well so let's just go ahead and do a few of these and give you a few ideas of what's possible and hopefully spur some inspiration in you 
One more thing for this finish. Uh, the more coffee you drink and do this, the better. <laughs> if your hands are shaky, which my hands tend to be sometimes, whether I've had coffee or not, um, then this finish will come out even better for you. So that's a little comic relief along with the art tutorial today. So now I've got, these are from the grunge coffee stained video that I just did. And these are these really nice uh, extra large index cards that I got at Walmart. And then these I did some extra spatter and mark making to them. So I thought they'd be fun to play around with. And then here's a book page with some white gesso on it. So I thought that would be fun. And we're just gonna do a couple. Now, since I'm using alcohol ink markers or any kind of uh, marker work, I always like to have some uh, poster board handy for underneath. And I'm gonna go ahead and use dark enough colors today that you can actually really see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and just play some music and get into this.
So here's just some quick and easy ideas of how you can take your mark making to another level with chisel pens. I think it's really fun to have just the plane like this and it, you can see my pens kind of diet which adds a whole new cool uh, dry marked look, dry brush look to it and you can add tons and tons of marking like we did on this one and this one. This really came out fun. So there are no rules, there are no limits. You can definitely do repetitive pattern. You can go completely wild and off the grid and just let your hand go whatever direction it wants to go. And then here's some more pattern work. This is just a great therapeutic practice for me. I get great papers really fast and I also get to unwind in a way that's really healthy for me too. So here's that book page with the gesso on it and I just love how the alcohol markers look on top of the text and I want to play around with this idea even more. Now your alcohol pens will definitely go through any of your permanent markers too. And then here's a quick little sample of black versus white on top of the pink. And it was fun to just go over stuff I already did. And then the blue in here, it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the blue, but I like the black. I like the bold and graphic looks that you can get. And of course, this is just playing around. And the nice thing about this is, I'm not the biggest fan of this page, but I, I do like that I did it and that I have it and you know I can know to do things I'm much more interested in in the future and that's the thing about doing a lot of artwork you're gonna make stuff you don't like and that's okay because then you know next time hey I don't really like that but I love these two these here are my favorites out of this batch and I like the white on top of the pink and then my pink pen here is Diane and so the pink lines were, are really pretty faint compared to the pink lines on this one so and the coffee stain is much more prominent and warmer on this sheet and I like this sheet so much more than I like this sheet so I'm definitely a bigger fan of the white mark making on top of the pink than I am the black so all these little things are just good little things to know this was so fun because I really did not follow patterns. I completely did the intuitive uh, mark making and, and then I went ahead and allowed myself to just do, let my hand move however it wanted to move. And this is such a, I almost feel like this is traveling back in time. It's a very ancient feeling practice to me and it, it really, it spurs like almost like an ancestral memory within me to do this kind of stuff. So welcome to it. I hope you give these pens a shot. Any chisel pens will work. I'm a very big fan of alcohol pens. Something I really love about them is that even when they're brand new and fresh, they're still quite translucent. You can still see all the coffee staining underneath the alcohol pen marks. And you won't get that, of course, with a permanent marker, you'll get solid color. So you have a lot of options, but this is number one of my mark making series that I wanna bring here to the channel. I really love mark making. There's so many different ways to do it. So I'm gonna be adding quite a bit to this series. Hope you enjoyed this and have your an excellent day and hit the like and subscribe and the bell notification for me and I'll see you real soon. Have a good one.